everyone welcome back so I have one last little thing that I made out of my little brass tubings and stuff that I had left and this one is something that's going to be kept in my house it's not something I'm going to be taking out into the bush um, so it's a little differently made um, it basically has the same tube as the lighter and the emergency candle um, we have same way you load it up put the fuel on the bottom And this is just the same as the flint tubes, except it's not threaded. This is just a brass nut that I, I did on the uh, belt sander. I'll put links to the, um, the other videos on how I made the tubes. Um, and then this is just another little tube that's capped off with a screw and then ground off. And it just slips over the top. And I'm going to call this a candle lighter. And the reason why I made this was, you ever try to light birthday candles? And when you're lighting them, they're a pain in the neck. And you always end up, what well, we do, end up taking one out and then the wax drips all over. Or if you use a match, um, especially these wooden matches, they burn down pretty quick. And a lot of times, depending on how many candles you have on there, you, you never get to light them all, you know? So with this, you can take your match or you take a lighter and you light this and then you got all the time in the world to light all the candles you want. And, um, oh, it's starting to rain. And you could also use this to light candles, you know, inside a jar, you know, you have a hard time reaching the bottom. So again, just a little quick thing that I made. This probably took me less than an hour to make out of some of the pieces I had left over. And I thought it was pretty cool. So that'll be sitting on the shelf somewhere if we ever need to light a candle. I'll just dig that out and uh, show it off. So everyone, thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Um, appreciate your comments. I hope you're having a great day. And I hope the sun is shining where you are and it's not raining. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you on the next one.